I haven't been in any situations of abject racism. However, I feel like when queerness is presented at UVA, or they're like, look, here's a queer student. It's like a white cisgender person who's like, look at me, I'm gay at UVA, hooray. And everyone's like, hooray. And that's the image we get. When we enter like queer, like white queer party spaces, it's like you're either seen as like a sexual object or like not at all. Um, and a lot of times it's not at all. Like you're just not seen. Because um, I've been to a lot of like, like my coming here, I didn't know where to go to find like queer people. Um, and so I went to a lot of like white queer parties. Um, and like I said, it wasn't openly racist, but you could tell that people didn't, especially when I was with like other black friends who were queer, people just didn't give any one attention if you didn't look like, if you weren't white and you weren't like interesting looking. It's very easy to be ostracized in a community that glorifies um, muscular white men as being the standard. It's almost like they have to be fit, they have to be white, and they have to be masculine. And that's the standard of almost beauty that's unrealistically set on the gay community, it feels like a lot of the time. And so anyone else who's different immediately is ostracized. I would say in terms of racism, there's nothing like super blatant. It's more like you feel alienated from the community in a sense. I think it's really negative to, to say that your type is a white person. I think that's something that I've heard from several um, uh, queer white people here that their type is white and how can your type be a race and how can your type be a physical attribute depending like your size doesn't matter your your race doesn't matter it's about who you are as a person and it's fascinating at these queer spaces the music you hear is is black music it's not like sometimes it has like obviously it has a mixture of music but it's always like Megan Thee Stallion or like these black women in particular like Nicki Minaj like you don't it's like super problematic in that sense as well because like they like are playing like black art or black music but don't even respect the black people in their space not that many people of like your own race in the community so like there's not much experiences you can share with other people and sometimes you just feel a general sense of like not belonging. It almost like it weighs on you completely because then you feel like you're not good enough. And you're like, why am I not good enough? Because of the color of my skin? Because my skin's not what this one person would prefer. It's like, it, it just, it can be, it can be bad for mental health, definitely. Mm -hmm.